I'm Tamara with Jubilee Ramirez, and I would like to teach you how to knit a wash rag. It's a very simple thing to knit. It's great for beginners, except you have to have a certain kind of yarn, cotton yarn to be exact. The cotton yarn I get is peaches and cream. Peaches and cream comes in a ball kind of like this, or it comes in a cone. In this project, I will be using size seven knitting needles. You will need two of them so because it's a set. You will also need a tapestry needle. You will of course need scissors. To begin our dish rag, we will leave a small tail about that length. We will make a slip knot, making a loop, taking the back strand and pulling tight. Place it on our needle and tighten it. Not too tight putting our tail end on our left side, our working yarn on our right side, the one attached to the ball. These two fingers through the loop, our other three fingers grabbing the yarn, open up your two these two fingers and pull down. And as you can see, it's kind of like a V. Go under the one by your thumb around pick it up pick up this one go out and pull tight go under the one by your thumb around this one and out and tight one more time now you have four loops now we will begin knitting we will go into the stitch, around, out, off, in, around, out, off, into the stitch, wrap your yarn around, out the stitch, and off. And do that until you get all your stitches, all your stitches knitted. Now turn your work. Knit your first two stitches and yarn over. You yarn over just wrapping your yarn around your right needle and knit to the end. Turn your work. Knit our first two stitches, yarn over, to increase our stitches and knit to the end. And every time you yarn over, the next row will be one stitch longer. And you just repeat this until you find half of the length you want. I usually go until about 50 stitches. And then I begin my decreases. And after a few rows of this, you'll actually see your pattern. Alrighty, we've got 10 stitches and now 40 rows to go. And you can see the pattern coming together. You can see the loops and the V inside. Pause the video down here. I'll catch up with you when I have 49 stitches. See you then. Alright, so I've got my 49 stitches. I'm going to uh, finish one more row to make an even 50 and then we'll start our decreases. Alrighty, there we go. So I've got my 50 stitches on here and now I'm done with my increases now we're going to decrease so we're going to knit one then knit two together so we're going to go in to two stitches it's just like knitting one but we're going to go into two instead of one now we're going to yarn over to keep our little holes our decorative and knit two together one more time now knit to the end when we yarn over, 
we're adding a stitch so that's why we have to knit two together twice and when you're knitting two together on the second stitch is to make the corner of our dish rag. Coming up on our my last stitches. Alrighty, now I turned my work. I'm going to repeat that decreases, knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, and then knit to the end. So you just keep doing that until you reach your four stitches that you started with and then you'll have your rag. Pause the video down here and I'll come back when I have five stitches. When you have five stitches it's a little difficult to figure out how to do this so I'm going to show you. So you knit your first stitch and then you have your yarn over and your second stitch so you're going to knit two together with that yarn over. And now you'd usually yarn over but we're just going to knit to the end. So we only, yarn, we do not yarn over in that row. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to cast off. You knit your first two stitches, take the back loop over the front loop. Now you only have one stitch. Now you knit one more take that back loop off of your needle and you never have more than two stitches on the needle at one time. Now you knit your last loop and take your back loop off. You take your scissors and cut your tail about right there. There we go. Now we're going to make that loop big without pulling the tail all the way through. We're going to take that tail and thread it through the loop and pull tight. Really tight. I'm going to split it in half as I did. This is a four strand, so I've got two on one side and two on the other side. So I'm going to take one of my strands and I'm going to thread it through the eye of my needle. Now, I'm just going to go a tiny bit away, like a half a stitch. Okay. You're going to take both the strands and tie a square knot. And sometimes you do pull onto it a little too hard, but it's okay. The things might break, but if you got two knots at least, it's fine, and even if you get one. Now just trim them pretty short, not too short though, because you don't want to trim accidentally the knot or even one of your stitches because it could ruin your whole entire rag. So you just repeat it on with your other strand. And there you go, you have made a wash rag. Thank you for watching. Make sure to stop by our blog home, Jubilee Amaris. There's a link in the description box below. Have a great day, bye!